going on guys this is Burr. is going to talk to you today about the marmot stormlight 2p tent I'm out here with uh nate murr and van of the grip stop and uh we took this out just a uh you know like six seven mile total kind of uh trip and we use this uh tent and the cool thing i like about it is all the venting options you can get in from the back or the front and uh, it's vented really well, so we have had no problems with condensation at all. And you can see here we got some vents right here. There's another one on the other side, and uh, you can see on the sides here we have nice venting as well. So, what are your thoughts on this, uh, Mer? I mean, it's a really nice tent. Uh, I was kind of skeptical about us both fitting in there because it is a two-person tent. And we have a bunch of gear. You're a little bit bigger of a dude, so we had to fit you know two guys and a german shepherd puppy in there last night but it worked out pretty well it's kind of a, a longer rectangular shape uh, which is i guess kind of a, a good thing because it leaves a lot of space at our feet so if you wanted to have your your packs in the in the tent with you you could have it at, the, at your head or at your feet or uh you know you could have your dog sleep at the bottom of your feet so i like like you said i like how breathable it is yeah i mean we actually kind of just kept this half open last night and uh you can see back there the venting just with uh not putting any not taking the door down in the back you still have all that venting on the sides as well and if i take this uh and this and you have to keep into mind that we have very large pads here um the only pads i have are like the very wide very long ones for hammocking so you're looking at a 78 length um, pad on each side so normally you'd have like a 72, so you'd probably gain uh, about another six inches, but you can see there, you could definitely put your packs on the uh, the end or the top, wherever you want. The one thing I did notice is the zipper got caught a few times when I'm trying to zip this up, um, right around this area. And I'm not sure if that's a, a defect or what it is, but it's right here where this matches up. Um, but it wasn't anything major. You can see that you can roll the uh, sides back here. Plenty of room here in the vestibule to uh, put packs if you want to put them outside and not put them inside. Just overall, real nice tent. The one thing I do like, and this is what a lot of companies are doing now, is they're doing kind of like these buckle designs or, or whatever when it comes to uh, how they attach the uh, rain fly to the anchor point here. So you can really adjust it easily, you know, just by pulling up on this. Um, so that's a lot easier than, you know, some of the market are a little bit challenging, but putting this up, if I would have actually known how it went up, because I didn't bring any directions or anything, I mean, you could have had this up in like five minutes easy. So yeah, it's a cool design. I just wish the rain fly wasn't like blaze orange. Yeah, that is definitely one downside for people like you and I who are in the outdoors, but also in the kind of like the subdued browns, greens, that kind of thing. I mean, like, but if they would have made it the same color, like, like gray yeah gray is the, the tent body itself i think that would have been a real slick looking tent yeah i mean they could have you know one thought is you could have made it gray with an orange marmot and that would have been <laughs> cool too but they want to keep the orange in there for visibility it's definitely not super heavy um you know Nemer packed in the, the poles which aren't they don't really weigh anything i packed in the uh the actual tent itself and that really didn't weigh much and according you know based on having a hammock you know and all the stuff you get to carry for that definitely wasn't uh, heavy for me at all so here it is with the uh, top off you can see that it's extremely uh, breathable i think it's just mesh all along the whole top of it which is great it's summertime you want to sleep out on your stars look at this dummy whoa <laughs> you can see it's pretty durable so here's a look at the outside of this marmot storm light 2p you can see that uh, there's a lot of ventilation going on. Basically, the whole top's ventilation. So you're going to get a lot of breathability. You know, as Mer pointed out, you could definitely check out the stars if it's a clear night. Just not have your uh, storm fly on. And uh, you can see the construction is extremely well. As my other Marmot review of the 4P, you see they use these very lightweight poles. They interconnect very robustly. You don't have to worry about the poles coming out and the, and, and the junction points. And uh, overall, it's just a real nice tent. So if you guys are looking for a really cool two-person tent, 
You could definitely use this in the winter because it's uh it's not a light lightweight uh, material for that rain fly. And there's enough um, there's enough venting that I don't think condensation would be a problem. Um, you have venting on the front, the back, the sides. I mean, it's vented everywhere for the most part, so I don't think you'd have a problem there. Um, last night was about 45 degrees, somewhere around there, so it's not super cold. And we had zero condensation problems with two guys and a dog on the inside. So definitely can uh, say there's no condensation issues with this uh, tent. So if you guys are looking for a cool two-person tent, I definitely think this is one you want to take a look at. Check the reviews. Um, I know backcountry.com has great reviews. So if you're looking for a, a tent to fill the two-person need, um, you could definitely take a look at this one. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. If you guys have uh, one of these tents or a marmot tent, go ahead and put it in the comments down below or better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later. How much does it weigh? I don't know, it's pretty light. It's not super heavy. If I had internet access, we could rattle off a whole bunch. I'll probably just roll it in like text.